Alright guys, so in this video we're going to be discussing the different interface view modes as well as the shortcuts to those view modes for the library and develop modules. And Lightroom basically has all these different view modes because each one is serves a certain purpose in your workflow. Some view modes are better for rating images, some are better for comparing them, some are better for looking for close-up details, and some are better for developing. So we're going to discuss each one of those and the functionality in this video. So let's get right started. We're going to start off with the library view modes. And so what this is, is this is all the view modes in the library module, which means our panels over here aren't going to change because while we're changing view modes, we're still in the library module. So we have all the library functionality. Okay, so I've got library module selected up here. Right now you're seeing the grid view, but we're going to talk about that next. I'm going to first go to the loop view. To get to the loop view, I can either double click on an image or I can hit E. Okay. Now in the loop view, whatever image is selected down in the film strip basically fills the entire work area screen that I have right here. And what we see is the large version of the image. We also see some information including like the file name, the uh, date, as well as the resolution. And we can customize the information which we'll talk about in a later video. What I like about the loop view is that it's a nice large view of that image so I can compare kind of details of images. Like let's say I have three shots of the same thing, uh, whether it's this couple or whatever it is, I can quickly scan through and see which image is the sharpest. Um, I might not be able to tell that from say the grid view because the grid view is so small and even if it's larger, even if I increase the size of the grid view, it's still kind of relatively difficult to see. So in loop view, I'm gonna double click to get back in, in the loop view I can see those details much more clearly and I can also zoom in um, by clicking on the image and seeing detail close up. Uh, and don't worry, we'll, we'll, in the next video we're going to actually talk about all these interface shortcuts that we're using. So don't feel like, you know, if you get lost right now, just check out the next video and you'll know exactly what we're talking about. But yeah, so we can zoom in, we can check out everything. Again, looking at the panels on the left and the right, everything is the same. We're still in the library module. Um, so that's what we use the loop view for. Now I'm going to switch back to the next mo uh, view mode, which is the grid view. And I'm going to do that by hitting the G key. Um, and there's actually a couple different ways to do it to get back. You can, just like how we got into the loop view, you can double click the image again. Um, and you can also, one of the shortcuts that we're going to talk about in the next video is shrinking the size of images in the grid mode. Well, we're not in grid, we're in loop view, but if I hit plus or minus to shrink the size of the image, it takes me right back to grid view. And this is plus or minus is where it kind of just shrinks the thumbnail, not actually the size of the image, just the thumbnail view of it. Okay, so grid view is great for doing numerous things, mainly for kind of comparing and looking at multiple images at a time, seeing, you know, how many in one scene that I have, comparing uh, or doing overall like kind of syncing, like you can select multiple images, you can sync settings, you can sync metadata across those images, and you can also highlight and select and add like say uh, different keywords or you know change metadata or do that all to these images at the exact same time. One thing to note is that if you are in loop view whatever you apply to this image even if you have let's say four images I have four images selected down here whatever I do like if I add um, a keyword to this say I say couples well it actually only gets applied to the image that's selected here and I can tell that by switching back to grid and I can click on the next image and you'll see that it doesn't have the word couples on the keyword whereas this one does. The only way to apply settings across multiple images like that is to have it in grid view and in grid view you're going to select from here and then you're going to hit couples I'm going to do that again and now every single image here will have that keyword applied to it. So it's great for that kind of batch processing for say adding keywords and doing all that stuff um, in, in grid view. Okay, the next view mode we're going to discuss is the library, in the library view mode is the compare view. And to get there, I'm going to hit C. And by the way, on a side note, if you guys forget any of these, uh, these shortcuts, you can look right up here in the menu and it'll actually tell you. So in grid, it's G, loop, it's E, compare is C, surveys, and, and also at the bottom of this, uh, article, we're actually going to post all these shortcuts so they're convenient and in one spot. Okay, so feel free to reference that as well. So in compare view, again, it's it's exactly what it, it kind of sounds like. You're going to be using it to compare two images at once. Um, and we can kind of flip back and forth between what images we want selected. 
One thing to note in this compare view is that if I zoom in, it's actually going to zoom in on both images to the exact same point. And I can actually move my viewing area and it's going to move it along the same point. So if you're comparing two images that are exact same, like let's say these two, it can be really convenient because you can see, okay, well, which image is sharper? Uh, you know, you can compare those minute details of the image. Now the next view mode I want to discuss is the survey mode. And I'm going to get there by hitting N. Now, the survey mode actually looks very similar to the compare mode at first glance. We, we lost some of the information up here. But what you'll note about the survey mode is that while in the compare mode we can only pick two images, in survey we can actually look at multiple images at once. So more than two images. And so you can compare details across like say, you know, five, six, seven, however many images you want. Now I don't have too much use for this view mode because frankly if I'm comparing images I like to use the compare. Um, otherwise I'm in loop view to be able to kind of quickly scan through or grid view to be able to apply settings across multiple images. But this survey mode is there so you guys can check that out as well. Alright, so let's go on to the develop view modes which we're going to discuss in the next video.